is Jess and welcome to Jess Tell the Home. It has been a while I know but I'm finally here and I'm here to share with you our latest crowning glory at home, our Esme counter. Counting back story lang. So we have this console table. This is a very sturdy console table which I got from Bio Furniture. It used to display our old coffee maker and our everyday flatware. Um, my husband, who is um, a coffee drinker, a heavy coffee drinker, wanted to have um, a functional counter where he can easily make his espresso coffee and froth some fresh milk. So my demand was very clear. Uh, I told him that I am willing to give up my um, console table for him for his uh, coffee counter only if his coffee machines would blend well with the rest of the color palette we have at home so my husband took it seriously he started allotting a portion of his payroll to buy coffee machines one after another and now i'm going to share how i styled this coffee counter which he now calls his smeg counter so I applied five styling rules when I was building up this Esme counter. Number one would be color coordination. This is very important because when your small appliances are on the counter and they're grouped together, they look so cluttered and disorganized. You know, kung iba-iba yung color niya. I don't know, basta ang gulo nila tingnan. Luckily for us, um, Esme um, has this small appliances in off-white color so we deliberate deliberately uh, selected you smeg um, coffee machines and other small appliances in off-white all of them are in off-white color so when they are you know uh, arranged next to each other must need parensya tingnan because they are of the same color so you know they blend well sila with uh, the rest of our um, items at home and of course uh, smeg is known for its uh, stylish appliances you know aside from being functional very stylish yung design nila so they are beautiful and stylish enough to be left in the open so okay lang na naka display siya kasi yeah mm, maganda siya tingnan Number two would be symmetry. Symmetry is an important design element in order to achieve harmony, balance, and order in a space. In order for us to achieve a symmetrical flow um, on our counter, I place two similar looking appliances on both ends. So this oblong shape espresso machine is displayed on this side while another oblong shape this one our smeg mixer is placed on the other end to create a more balanced visual weight that's also the reason why i placed this smeg juicer here and this smeg coffee grinder on the other side they almost have the same height and shape Kaya yun, they, they are placed on both sides. So the same principle applies to with this Esmeg milk frother and this kettle here. Ito naman, this is our coffee drip. Uh, I place it in the middle for emphasis. So with this toaster. So aside from placing them in the middle for emphasis, since they are uniquely shaped, wala silang cutter, no? So yun, nasa gitna sila. And uh, yeah, we're able to achieve, I think, symmetry or that beautiful balance in this space. Alright, number four would be variety. Effortless though because we have a variety of SMEG appliances of different sizes, shapes, and uh, uh, designs. So while these appliances are all in off-white color, so some color lang, my tendency kasi na when done wrong, this would look monotonous or flat. Um, but um, 
um, I think in this space, hindi naman naging ganon because yun nga, may variety pa rin because uh, no uh, appliance is alike. It, it looks uh, pleasing to the eyes. It looks interesting. Alright, number four would be practicality. So this space or this counter was meant to be a functional space for us. So I considered it's wear and tear. So I know it's going to be unavoidable to spill some water or milk or coffee or hot chocolate on the surface. So to protect the surface of this counter, I added this cork placemats which I got from IKEA. They're very affordable. Uh, it comes with four pieces of rectangular placemats. So aside from the function that they serve, I like how this placemats added warmth to this space. But finally, number five, functionality. This space has to be truly and absolutely functional. Otherwise, it is pointless to display all these appliances here and of course, even more pointless to buy and invest in this SMEG appliances if we cannot and will not use them. I'm proud to say that we can use any of these appliances at any given time. Kahit sabay-sabay silang gamitin, pwede. So, hindi lang sila pan-display dito. So, but do you see the electrical cords? Siyempre, hindi. Because I kept them here dito sa uh, pottery pitcher natin. So, this pottery pitcher does not only serve a decorative purpose, you know, to hold this greenery, but it has a very important role in this space, and that is to keep or hide itong mga electrical cords natin dito. So, this electrical cord, syempre ang dami natin electrical cords, so nakakalito kung which one ba, you know, is for the coffee drip or for the for the coffee grinder so what we did this is another tip is that you should properly label yung electrical cord for easy use so there you have it those are my five rules when styling this as my counter i hope you learned something from me today thank you for watching and i hope to catch you again next time